Hey, in today's segment, sponsored by Kent District Library. If you've got a story, the Write Michigan Short Story Contest is the perfect opportunity to tell it. For 10 years, this literary contest has inspired thousands to put pen to paper or fingers to keyboard. Joining us this morning is Kip O'Dell with the info on this year's event. Good morning to you, Kip. Morning. Good morning. So glad you're here, Kip. Tell us a little bit about this year. This is an anniversary, right? It's 10 years. It is. It's our 10th year. It's a statewide contest. So we've kicked it off again this September and we're really excited to do that. So it's it's a short story contest. It's for all ages. Um, it's $10 for adults and up, but it's free for kids to do it. And we also have a, a Spanish language category. Um, so which is 12, 12 and under if you want to write in the Spanish language. And there's a there's a lot of prizes. There's an anthology at the end and there's a lot of different ways people all around the state can get involved with it. Well, let's talk about how you actually determine a winner, though. Yeah, so we have a, a couple phases. So if you submit your story, you're definitely going to get read at least twice, sometimes more than that right off the bat. So we actually have um, regular people, again, all around the state that just want to help us out, that can review stories in all the different categories. And then we have a panel of judges. So the top 10 go to the judges, um, and then they look at them really closely, and then that's how we get our winners. And then we also have a People's Choice Award. So if you make the, the final 10, um, you could win the judges' award but then, um, again, anyone in the state is uh, allowed to vote in uh, the month of January on, on a People's Choice winner, too. Excellent. So mm -hmm. we all get to uh, put our votes in, too. Uh, what are the prizes? I, I mean, obviously, I know that the I mean, it would be so nice to say published author next to your <laughs> name, right? I mean, you, they get published. I know that's one of the main things. What other prizes are you offering? Yeah, that's one of the neatest things that this that this one does is you also get published in an anthology every year. Um, but there's also cash prizes, which is, of course, exciting. So $500 goes to the winners of the People's Choice and the judges' winner. And the runners-up get $250. And you can see your name in that Right Michigan Anthology. So it's cool. All right. And uh, does someone have to have a, a, a history of this or experience in this? Can anyone enter just write anything down? Yep, absolutely. It's it's open to anyone. We get a lot of first timers and we get a lot of people who uh, enter every year as well. So um, and like I said, it's for every age, too. So there's the kids and the teens categories and we uh, typically typically get around a thousand stories. So, wow. So if you're somebody watching right now and in your 80s saying I've always wanted to write a book or write something special, <laughs> is this, now's your time to do this or do it, absolutely. Yeah. Or if you're watching this right now and thinking, I could probably, I love to read, but yeah. I like to proofread. I mean, you're looking for reviewers for these stories, yeah. right? We are. If you go to our website for it, which is writemichigan.org, um, we usually have a team of 150 to 200 people that just read all of the stories because we want every story to get you know its due and be read a couple of different times. Uh, it can kind of vary each year, but you're typically going to read in the maybe 8 to 12 stories range in the category that's kind of your favorite. So if you really want to read teen stories or adult stories, you can submit that too, and then they get automatically assigned to you on the website. You can read them and review them. It's really fun. I do a few every year it's really fun cool. okay, i got one more follow-up for you people watching right now thinking you know what i've wanted to try this or maybe they're just now hearing about it and want to try it but they hear the term short story again what does that mean how, how much writing are people going to be doing how many words so for us we have the limit at three thousand words and anything lower than that is fine we've had mega short ones and ones that are you know 2999 words but yeah our, our guideline is three thousand Good okay, one. I All think right. people can tackle that for sure. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your time this morning. Yeah, thanks so much. Absolutely. And the Wright Michigan Short Story Contest, the entries are accepted through November 30th at noon. It's free for 17 and younger, $10 for 18 and older. WrightMichigan.org is where you want to go. And